Good morning. Uh, my name is Casey Brady. I'm the Voting Systems Analyst for the Bureau of Elections. Uh, joining me today is Sindhu Ramachandran, the Chief of the Division of Election Security and Technology. The time is Tuesday, March 5th. It's about 10.15 a.m. Uh, on behalf of the Secretary of the Commonwealth, I would like to welcome you all to the examination of the Unison Open Elect 223 uh, electronic voting system and take this opportunity to explain some of the guidelines that we'll be following. Uh, first, it should be noted that the Secretary of the Commonwealth is holding this examination pursuant to the provisions of sections uh, 1105A, parenthesis A, of the Pennsylvania Election Code. Second, uh, the examinations of voting systems are not subject to the requirements of the Sunshine Act. Nevertheless, the department in consultation with its consultant has determined that it is appropriate to invite the public to observe examinations. Third, this examination will be conducted pursuant to the Pennsylvania Election Code. The department has entered a contract with Pro V&V to perform the examination. Ryan Wilson of Pro V&V Inc. will lead the examination for Pro V&V. Following receipt of Pro V&V's findings, the secretary will issue a report that shall be filed with the Bureau of Elections. Fourth, the public demonstration portion of the examination will be memorialized on video, which shall be the official recording or official record of the proceedings. Because the video will constitute the record, it is essential that the camera will always be accorded the best view of the screen. This may make it difficult for members of the public to see clearly what is occurring at that time. Your presence is welcomed here primarily as an opportunity to observe the nature of the process as a whole. Copies of the public demonstration video recording will be available for public viewing. We do not permit anyone else recording the examination proceedings. Due to the potential for divulging proprietary and sometimes sensitive information about the voting system during the examination, our recording is the only per recording that will be permitted. Fifth, we will not permit spoken questions or comments from any guests. After the public demonstration, we will be moving on to test cases that the examiner will execute to confirm the system meets the election code requirements. The public can stay as observers for that part of the examination as well. There may be occasions, though, where proprietary information must be shared by vendor with the department and the examiner. If that occurs, all members of the public will be excused from the room. After the proprietary information has been shared, everybody will be invited to return to this room. In order to capture an accurate record of the proceedings, it's imperative that all members of the public follow these guidelines. Persons failing to conform to these conditions will be asked to leave the room. Please turn all cell phones to silent during the examination. Thank you for your cooperation. Uh, we will move on to the public demonstration from the vendor. I will turn it over to a representative from Unison to demonstrate what voters may see when they come into contact with the system. Hello, this is the public demonstration of the Unison Voting Solutions Open Elect version 223. We have three devices here that are used in the precinct. We have our OVO in precinct scanner. This is normally set on a ballot box. We have our ballot marking device, the FVT. And then we have our new in precinct scanner, the FVS. So when a voter comes into the precinct, they will be handed their ballot. And I have this ballot set to be an overvote. So the ballot goes into the device. At this point, it is coming back saying that you now have too many selections in one of the contests. And the voter can then be handed a receipt, which they can then go and fix their ballot. And then this is a valid ballot. It goes into the device. Oh, oh, that was my second overvoted ballot. And at that point, it's dropped into the ballot box after being recorded on three redundant media. The same is true for the FVS. Goes in. If there are any, if there's anything that needs to be uh, repaired by the voter. They can do that. Otherwise, the ballot gets placed in and dropped in the ballot box and is then cast. Again, recorded on three redundant media and checked. 
The last thing we have is our FVT. This is a uh, ballot marking device. This uh, allows for a nice clean interface for anybody who may have some challenges uh, using a pen on a printed ballot. So this can be initialized either manually or through a barcode. So now the ballot is started. They are presented with the contests. They have to look at all candidates before they can move on to the next contest. So here we can make selections by touching it. Once they've made the maximum number of selections that are allowed, then they can't touch anymore unless they deselect another one. So here I will make a few selections. We also have additional interfaces beyond the touch screen. There is a keypad, which allows them to navigate through the, through the election. And they can make selections this way. It also has an input for a binary device. So if they're using a sip and puff or anything along those lines, that can be used as well. It has an audio ballot. The audio uses a text-to-speech engine in order to present the text. However, it also has the ability to use MP3s and can support non-written languages, such as Navajo. Once you get to the end of the ballot, you're presented with a summary. This reads everything back that you, all the selections you've made. You can then go to any given contest, make any changes you want. After you've reviewed everything and this is uh, accurate, you print your ballot. The ballot has all of your selections in legible format up at the top and then at the bottom is the marks that the computer can read or the system can read. This is then taken over to the scanner and it is now cast. We also have a central count system. Central count system can read up to 70 ballots a minute. Actually, this one is even slightly faster. It can actually do 78. Um, and that is used, is done using our central count, our centralized system here. Uh, this is also where all the results from the devices are uh, aggregated. So a USB drive with the encrypted results is taken out of the device, uploaded into here, and then all the reports will come out with the results of the election. Also here on this system is our EMS, our election management system. This is where you define the election. So you can add contest candidates, format your ballots, add colors, all the things that make the ballot nice and pretty and legible. And that then outputs a, both the PDFs and the files that are used to program all of these devices. The same set of files is used for everything. So that is our demonstration of the OpenElect 223 from Unison Voting Solutions. Thank you very much for your attention.